hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will tell you how you can move power portal or power pages uh, website from one environment to another environment now open xrm toolbox and uh, select portal records mover then create a new connection to your source environment okay now let us first uh, go to the source environment and check uh, if everything uh, is ready or not let me go to the environment here the environment is uh, copilot test this is my environment name and here i have created a power page website okay so this is my power page website and i have created two websites so this is my website that i want to move registration one okay registration site one this is the power portal or power page that i want to move now go to the xrm toolbox record mover and click on get records from website once you click on get records from website uh, it will ask you to choose which uh, record or which power page website you want to move and in the left side select all components first then click on transfer record when you click on transfer record it will ask you to choose target environment so create a new connection by using uh, microsoft uh, login control to connect uh, target server then once you select the target server uh, once the transfer will initiate it will ask a confirmation whether you want to enable plugins and web file systems things then if you click ok then the portal records transfer will start now this will take some couple of uh, minutes uh, depending on the uh, power portal size or power page size so it will transfer everything including site markers settings okay pool page templates web templates everything uh, that will move from your source system to target system and uh, now you see uh, everything is transferred now i can go to the uh, target environment this is my target environment here i can see the registration site one is created but it is in an inactive state so you have to reactivate this by giving a new address uh, web address and a new name of the website uh, now click on done now once you given the uh, website name and uh, website address for your target environment then it will take some time to provision and reactivate your power page which is recently migrated or recently uh, deployed but here you will uh, see another important thing it is telling that your registration site one is in, uh, imported but it is not able to provision because microsoft only allows one custom portal but i have already some existing custom portals in the target environment so i have to delete that uh, existing uh, custom uh, power page uh, websites before provisioning this new website right so let us delete uh, the existing sites let me go to the uh, power page and uh, let me go to the uh, make dot power apps portal or power apps uh, home screen and try to delete the uh, existing power page websites because it it uh, it only requires one custom website if you have created multiple websites it will not work so just scroll down and check how many power pages sites are there you see there are three sites so you have to that's why registration site one is uh, provision failed because of this alm page power page site and uh, site one power page site so select and delete the site i have created for demo purpose so delete it normally in usual cases you will not find multiple power page websites so it will not be a problem in provisioning a new website or new power page website now delete the alm page also this is another uh, power page created now if you uh, right click and uh, retry provisioning it will it will provision your website correctly right now you can click on create again and provide the site name and uh, a uh, web address and click on done now it is done so if you go to active websites you will find the registration one site one okay 
you can change the address to whatever you want to change in your target environment right now it is provisioning again because i have uh, deleted existing uh, power page websites now it is taking time to register or provision now once it is completed you will see that the active site is now ready now by default it's private you can edit it to make it a public website so that uh, public users can access your power page now we are ready you can go to the uh, edit site option okay in the top center you will find the manage site visibility go to manage site visibility and click on public okay once you click on public it will prompt you to set as public it will take some couple of seconds and now it will convert it as a public website now if you preview the website or anyone load your page uh, power page website with that link it will load the uh, website or power page website that has been deployed to the target environment now i am running this uh, power page website from target environment now you understand how deployment is done using a record xrm toolbox portal record mover this requires no uh, no uh, complexity right and uh, uh, make sure that uh, any entity level customization let's say you have used some views used some uh, forms then you have to export and import the solution first uh, before using this record mover portal record mover right because this will just move the power portal or power page records but uh, it will not move the entity customization so uh, the deployment should be done in three two, uh, two pages one is solution uh, export import then portal record mover and also we keep in mind that you should have only one power page instance or website in your target environment otherwise it will fail provisioning thank you everyone watching this video see you